Hello, Mr. Chicken. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Oh, there's a zombie over there, too. I don't know if I can get that quite that far. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, man. So, arrows. Bam. Thank you. So arrows obviously have a little bit of randomness to their trajectory. Hmm. Welcome back again. We are still in Minecraft 1.14.4. And just as uh, they're starting to wrap up the 1.15, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, snapshots, which is kind of, uh, kind of frustrating because they really haven't added a whole lot. Um, they just, they mostly just added bees, which is cool. The bees are cool. Um, but they don't, uh, and, and you can get honey and honey is useful in redstone contraptions. It, uh, it behaves similar to slime in that it pushes and pulls blocks. It will not, however, push and pull slime. And slime will not push and pull honey blocks. So you can actually have pistons independent of each other pushing and pulling blocks uh, with slime and or honey and have them basically right next to each other. Which is kind of cool. Um, so, but they seem to be uh, very much interested in doing mostly uh, <laughs> um, small updates and, they, and then they said 1.15 was supposed to be pretty much a bug uh, mostly a bug fix update bug fix and uh, an improvement performance improvement so okay um, that's fine and I guess it's somewhat appropriate that if you have, uh, if you're going to do a bug fix update, adding bees into that update is kind of funny, I guess. It's kind of a gamey pun. Anyway, uh, so not, we just updated to 1.14. I'm not super excited about the whole prospect of waiting for spigot to update to 1.15 and go through all that process but it seems like they're making fewer background changes so uh, it may be that uh, the the development cycle will be a little bit tighter on 1.15 for for spigot um maybe i don't know we'll see but 1.14 and I am chopping all these leaves because I have a composter down below and I'm chopping down the street because I want wood because I need to make a bunch of workstations for the villagers down in the artificial village so let's uh let's go take care of this see how much wood we get I've got plenty of wood um I, I could just go pull wood from uh, other st other storage locations, but I've got like full rows of stacks of wood. It's like I don't necessarily want to be uh, you know, I don't want to be giving up wood from taking wood from those fully packed locations uh, one thing i've discovered notice how these are floating down there because it does uh entity or item grouping bloop oh that didn't work sometimes you can draw ah see that it grouped with those and now i've got 45 in my in my pocket 
Why are you glitching? There is a sand glitch um, bug fix that they're working on. Can I get this to group? I don't think that actually exists. I believe I have plenty of saplings here. So I don't need these per se. Oh, did that finally? No, it did not. Still glitching out. Um, and then I've got, um, I don't need all of this, 43. So let's see here, I can go. Whoa. So full leaf blocks are not particularly efficient when it comes to the composter. They seem to have a relatively low chance of actually promoting the compost. Huh. This is my super inefficient bone meal. Okay. Nice. So I've got, let's see here, pop that up, take that down, put this here, put that there. So I've got two full stacks of logs here. Let's see how much that helps. Wow. Hello, guys. Who's got the fancy hat? Is that a Fletcher? Yes, that is. That is indeed Mr. Fletcher. Interesting. So, I have plenty of villagers here to pull out the, uh, the guys I need. Um, and I have... Let's get my axe down on the... Okay, so we've got all these guys and they have their professions already sort of fixed. Now the farmer needs a composter. Huh? And see, he's got a bunch of trades already unlocked. And I could go get some stuff and trade with him. Maybe I'll do that. But I have other farmers here as well. I think. Toolsmith. He is indeed a toolsmith. Armor. Librarian. Farmer. Hi. And he's got a bunch of trades. And I don't know if these guys will get more trades. They had a thing in some of the early snapshots where the uh, some of the guys would, if you traded with them, they would kind of power up their trades. It's literally a perfect fisherman. Why is that locked? That's weird. Uh, a farmer. Um, ha. Ha. Um. It's gonna hurt. Ow. But I got the blocks. Now, in, this, in the, the snapshot testing that I did, I had a little bit of difficulty with one of the guys unlocking. Brand. I have to figure out how to build the uh, the book stand that the librarians need. I will go look that up, and we'll build a bunch. And hopefully, it's wood based. Or presumably, it's largely wood based. Because uh, I have most of the librarians, because they had kind of the widest range of of trades that I wanted for the enchanted books. Uh, and then clerics need brewing stands. I know how to build a brewing stand, so... And I probably have a bunch. Oh, I have some of my ender chests, I think. Let me go get that. So I have a whole stack of brewing stands here. So we can do this. 
But I found this guy I had a real hard time getting him to unlock. And I wonder if it's because David S. Pumpkins is sitting right here. Like he's close enough to get scared. And this guy had a little trouble unlocking too. Uh, so that is my concern uh, about this. So that's why I was thinking I may have to move David S. Pumpkins. I probably should anyway because, you know, why? Why do I have them? I'm not doing anything with them. Okay, there's a cleric right here. Okay. Cleric right here. Oh, and the cool thing is... He was all completely locked up before. Um, now that he has a, he has a workstation and he can pathfind to it, when it gets to be the right time of day, which is not right now, uh, but when it gets to be the right time of day, he should decide, oh, I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna unlock. I'm gonna restock from my workstation. Okay. I don't remember if I have more cleric. Oh, there's a cleric right here. I don't really need this many clerics. But they'll start unlocking. Do I have any clerics over there? I can at least look from a distance. No. Okay. How many librarians do I have? One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 37. I missed one cleric. So I have 37 librarians. I have another cleric that I need to get another brewing stand for. 37. So I need to make pretty much, well, not. I need to make just over half a stack of lecterns. Um, so, up, and they're a little bit pricey. They they involve a bookshelf, and I don't know how many actual bookshelves I have. I I'm used to buying the bookshelves from the librarians, so I can. Oh, you know what? I can kind of kickstart it. Okay. Hello, you are a cleric and you need, you need one of these. There you go. You've got one. Okay, I'm going to get some paper and we will see what we can do. Okay, I have some bookshelves here. I have some books. I have some emeralds. Okay, let's see if we can bootstrap this. Um... I'd like to think that I can. I don't have to do all this. Hi, you're a librarian. And you will sell me bookshelves. Okay, so you will you will buy paper from me and give me emeralds. And then I don't have to use that paper to make books. And then I can I can give you some of these and buy bookshelves. Thank you. Oh, you got the particles. You didn't unlock. So now uh, I need to make a little room in my inventory. So let's move on to you and sell as much of the paper to you as I can, which isn't a whole lot. 
Ooh, better price on the bookshelves. Okay, I have 36 bookshelves, which might almost be enough. Urgh. It's getting happier as we go. Okay. Okay. So now I need to take one of these stacks of logs and turn it into planks and turn one of these things of planks into oh interesting so I think the thing for this is like this oh okay Hang on a second. Okay, so I've turned some of these uh, these logs into planks, and I can go and do something like this, and I can just do something like this, and put these here. And look, lecterns! I can make 20 of them. Uh, I need more than that. There's another 10, 31. Hey, that's not bad. If I can... I hear something walking around over there. Get the other five. All right. So. Oh. I, oh, wow. Look at you and your fancy diamond armor. Are you going to drop that when I kill you? Drop something. And you and your enchanted leather. Okay. Okay, so now I have lecterns. And I can put the lecterns down here. And I can give you a lectern. And I can give you a lectern. Oh. That block is, uh, interesting. Okay. Oh, somebody just restocked. It may have been you. Okay. Obviously, it's time of day that these guys will restock. Oh, look! 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 He restocked. He, un he unlocked. That's so exciting. Yay! Now I have to go re recalculate his, uh, his uh, score. Okay. So, I've got... Have you unlocked? No, you're still locked. Okay. Well, let me go through and give all these librarians their lecterns. And, oh, he just restocked. Librarian. And librarian. Okay. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. And, uh, and then I'll see what, uh, so exciting. Uh, Okay, let me take care of this, and then we will, we will take next steps. So this is where we're having a little redesign of the villager pens comes in handy, because now I have room below them to plop down their workstation. At their feet, they seem, they see it as, as a workstation, and they seem to be okay with it. These guys are so noisy. Oh, look at this. Um, okay, so... Block ended up down there. The the lecterns are not enough. They're not solid enough to pop it out. But look, I can do that little block grouping trick. And now grouped that one up there with this one. Uh, so it's good. Okay, librarian. I have four lecterns left. And... Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I have three lecterns left and I have three librarians. Um, that couldn't have been more perfect. Uh, okay, let me get these installed. Um, I will probably want to make more lecterns just to have some backups. Um, just because I kind of like to have a full stack of them, but they are kind of expensive. And you notice that all these guys are constantly kind of making their thing and restocking. This cleric here, who is the one that was completely locked up, he's unlocked! We revived him from the dead. It's very exciting. Uh, so these guys are going to be sitting here making all kinds of noise. I need to figure out, um, like, some of these guys, I need to figure out what their, what their workstation is. The cartographer, it's like a, a tool thing. He is still locked up. He is he unlocked. And I really do believe it's because of David S. Pumpkin. So we need to do something about that. And I'll have to uh, figure that out. But let me... Um, yeah, this is exciting. Uh, so I can come in. Oh, he's locked up still. Interesting. Um, let me get some more emeralds. Okay. Very cool. And when it becomes that time of day, and it is not that time of day right now, in fact, it's getting into the evening, um, he'll just look down at his workstation and say, oh, I want to restock. Super exciting. But these guys are going to be so freaking noisy, it's not even funny. Okay. Let me go, uh... Let me come up with a plan for David S. Pumpkins here. Hey, little buddy, gonna bring you a friend. So what I wanna do here, this should all work, is bring out I should be able to bring David S. Pumpkins down and out this way. Got some stuff in here that I need to drop off. I don't really need, oh, actually I do need this. I don't really need this. Um, oh wait. Diorite, polished andesite, stone, polished granite. Uh, and up with some iron ore. I don't necessarily need it, but let me pick these up. Okay. So now I should be able to I do this. Yep, it'll wrap. And if I take out this slab there, I should be able to do this. Hello, David S. Pumpkins. And if I go in here, he hit me, but whatever. Uh oh. Why are you no move? Oh, because you're sitting on a powered rail that is not powered. <laughs> uh, I have levers so we can, we can power that rail. These villages are noisy. Our coke is on. There we go. Um, there we go. Welcome to your new home. He's, he's obnoxious, but he is now trapped. Put some light there so nobody else tries to spawn, and he's out of the way. I just need to move his, create a little sign for him, and, um, 
And then... Now, that's still not a very exciting place for him. But, you know, hey. This is the complaint department, and I, he's the supervisor. And then go redo what we did here. Now, hopefully... This helps all these guys um, to relax. Oh, I can do that later. And let's see here. So this is slab, 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 slab. And then I need to put in these two powered rails. Now we're back up in business. And what time of day is it? It's coming on in the morning. Oh, I need to put that slab back here. Plop. And then, uh, oh, I never had a sign for David as pumpkins. I can pick up these rails. And if I have more carpet, I can lay it down. I'll have to see if I have more black carpet. But! That's beside the point. We finally moved David S. Pumpkins. Uh, I have signs. I know I do. I have lots of signs. I think there's a bunch over here. Look at that. Signs. And then we can label him as the supervisor. And... Put this little... Look at all the bats. He's this is the complaint department, and this is the supervisor. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now let's go see if these guys unlock. It's nice not having them randomly lock up on you. It's kind of deterministic now. Um, huh? So I should be able to trade a lot more before running out. And I have more than one of things, so. Hmm. Um, having one, two, three. Put this up there. Put this up there. One, two, three. Having a larger collection of village of, of say farmers, I think will be advantageous now. Uh, and I designed this such that I have plenty of extra room here, and I could run this down that way a ways. Um, so I could make all kinds of farmers, and you just grab all your foodstuffs. Oh, he unlocked. He did not. He hasn't. Okay. It's kind of random when they do it. Um, and it can happen a c couple times a day. Oh, he, he was restocking. Oh, he's got a good paper trade. Uh -huh. Yeah, now we could have a collection of, of uh, oh, that's a good trade. Have a collection of librarians that all that they're there for is trade paper. No other purpose. Um, and you just walk on down the line and you get enough of them there and then they unlock at some point. See, he's he's looking down at his, at his station. So, if these guys are problematic, I may have to move them. Huh? Um, so what does he have? He has Feather Falling 4 and Fire Aspect 2. Fortunately, they're not super in-demand trades. But, okay. Not bad. 
Well, I think that will I'll, I'll stop there. Um, so obviously this is working, more or less. Um, we could potentially have some a couple a couple problematic villagers here. I may have to log off and log back in, or go away and come back and reload this section. And then there are these guys, like the cartographer. The mapping table, or whatever they call it, I need to figure out how to make those. And there's a bunch of other things, like the, the toolsmith, armorer, toolsmith. I need to figure out all their workstations. I don't need a ton of them, because I've only got, a, like, you know, one of each. Uh, and then we'll we'll just keep uh, trading here. Shepherd, um, butcher. So we got we have the, all these miscellaneous guys. I need to get them crafting tables. Fishermen. Uh, so our workstation, not crafting tables. So there we go. Uh, I think that was uh, that was fairly successful. And once I get them taken care of, I can take out these blocks and. These guys will be open for business. Um, yeah, so there we go. All right, thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.